on the eastern shore, our culture, our lifestyle is to hunt and fish. We have the best waterfowl hunting of anywhere around. Ducks, geese, I love hunting ducks and geese. I've been a rabbit hunter, a squirrel hunter, dove hunter, quail hunter. I've hunted with dogs my whole life. And um, I certainly have done my share of deer hunting. I've been holding a gun in my hand since I was probably old enough to walk. I really have. It's, it's part of my everyday life to be armed. I don't go anywhere without my gun. We, we love our way of life down here, and it's, it's a simplistic way of life that we live. And, and our guns hurt no one, um, literally no one, um, if they're left alone. You put a gun in, 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 in the hands of any bad person, sure it can be used as a weapon, absolutely. Uh, we need to get the guns at the hands of convicted felons. We need the guns at the hands of bad people. But we do not need to strip law-abiding citizens of their Second Amendment right to bear arms. That I get upset over. I really do. As the sheriff of Wicomico County, I made a vow and a commitment that as long as I'm the sheriff in this county, I will not allow the federal government to come in here and strip my citizens of their right to bear arms. I can tell you this, if they attempt to do that, it will be an all-out civil war, no question about it.